Got a couple of uh, scrap pieces of burl from a bowl I made. Figured we could make a small vase out of it. I think we're going to do a vase with this. So let's get this done up and on the lathe. I think when I I think it's gonna to be too rubbery. I may have to wait for this to, but how oh, hell, let's try it. All right, this tendon's very, very, so and this is what I'm talking about right here. I poured this totally wrong. I poured it like it was thick set. Because I thought I grabbed the thick set, but I must have grabbed the two to one. Shouldn't have them sitting next to each other. We're going to have to put this one up on the shelf for a while. Alright, it's been about three weeks, probably a month since the last clip you just watched. Um, this thing was not hardening, but I put it up on the shelf. And like I said, it's been three weeks to a month and it has hardened. Uh, if you mis mis mix your resin or resins like I did um, it will harden okay so just put it up on the shelf let it sit up there for a while and hopefully it'll harden as long as you put a hardener in it <laughs> like I've not done in the past uh, but let's get to turning this thing
hopefully this will help a little bit. Give me a little bit more reach in there. I know I'm probably gonna have to redo the outside, but I just wanna see what this is gonna look like. Um, so I'm gonna do the inside here, and uh, then probably up to here or something, I don't know, because we're gonna have to round this all off. Uh, but I'm gonna do uh, some sandy sealer real quick. Holy sh look at that. I'll do the outside here. Let me bring you in on it. This stuff. This burl is just nuts. I found this piece of burl out on a property uh, that was being forested for the, the wood. And uh, I had known this was there because I used to go fishing there. So... I knew the owner of the property, a developer, and I said, hey, can I go on there and see if they took that burl? And lo and behold, they had cut this whole tree down and threw it off to the side. It's a cherry burl, and I grabbed it. I said, screw that, and I grabbed it, and I ran home and I cut it up into pieces and dried it, and now you get to benefit from it. Or whoever buys this gets the benefit, if somebody buys it. Boom. Oh, let's get some OB Shine juice on this. think thought I saw some scratches in there looks like there might be some now nah, that might just be the I don't know I don't see any I got my glasses on this time so I'm gonna put uh, five more coats on this and then we'll flip this around and bring this whole back end down and round it out I'll be back
All right, I've got it sanded up to 400, and now I'm out of 400 and 320 sanding pads. But we're gonna go ahead and do this whole thing again. Just because you wanna make it blend in. All right, let's go ahead and hit this bad boy. Finish it up with some OB Shine juice. We're gonna go ahead and put five more coats on this. All right, so we got this part done. Now we gotta figure out uh, the base of it. And I think I've got the perfect uh, piece of wood. I was gonna use it for a small cutting board a while back. It's, uh, well, let's go get it. I know it's over here. Got to get around all these <laughs> bunch of wood around my sink here. Um, it's up here. No, that ah, here it is. It's hiding behind this piece right here. Look at this piece of walnut right here. I think that's going to be perfect. What do you guys think? Uh, let's do it. Here we are, and here's that piece of wood. And this will be, this is a very dangerous way to turn, okay? But we only have to turn a little bit, and hopefully that tenon will hold. It's got super glue and hot glue on it. And I'm just going to round this out a little bit so this will fit on there. We're gonna keep that handy so we can put it in there and see if it'll, it'll fit right. So, I hate doing this, but I'm gonna keep it right around 600 or so. Watch your hands if you're gonna do this, okay? Watch your hands, so. All right, so here it is. You got the uh, bullet vase here, cup, whatever you want, and then you got the piece of walnut for it to sit on. I am, I am super, super happy with this one. Um, really kind of a artsy piece here with the burl and then the, the walnut. And this all came from a screwed up because this was not what I had planned. I had planned on just making a, a vase with this, but uh, plans change over time because I, I screwed up and uh, mixed the resin wrong. So I put it up on the shelf and I had another idea. And then uh, the other day I did a live stream and I was thinking about it right before that. And I said, boom, it just hit me. This is what I'm gonna do. So sometimes you gotta put something aside and then come back to it, like this shelf right back here. That's the shelf of shame, as you know. Um, I slowly go back up there and I grab stuff. So there's always, always something you can do with them. Or uh, it, it was difficult getting inside the vase. I don't know why. I just, it just wouldn't stop chattering. But I got it smoothed out in there and I got it in there, so it all worked out. All right, if this is your first time here, uh, please go down, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, and share the video. If every one of you could share one of my videos, I'd really appreciate it. It gets my name out there, and it helps me out. 
Also, if you want to be notified when I'm doing live streams, which I'm going to start doing more regularly now, go down and hit that bell. It'll let you know whenever I put something out. Okay, you can also go over to Facebook and Instagram and check out what I'm doing throughout the week and the weekend and here and there and at night, blah, blah, blah. So, until I see you next week, stay cool.